Because the effects of global warming are so evident in the Antarctic, the handful of scientists who were working here 30 years ago have been joined by thousands of others. What they're finding is a lot less predictable than just a gentle warming up. For a start, the increase in snow over the continental ice cap is making it colder. Air at a temperature of 50 below spins out of the center in huge cyclones. Storm force winds and waves then batter the fresh sea ice. as well as the animals that depend on it. The sea can be cold enough to freeze, but the autumn storms won't let it. In their daily colony on the edge of the continent, blizzards leave the parents hunkered down or stranded offshore. But penguins are hardy animals. The real killer is what can happen next. The winds can drop, the water calms, and the super cold continental air quickly freezes the sea. The adults might make it across, but few of the chicks would survive the trek. Unpredictable storms break up and refreeze the sea many times each autumn. Adelie chicks are growing waterproof feathers as fast as they can. As soon as they are able, they follow their parents down to the shore. The sea is full of heavy, jagged chunks of ice, and the youngsters are naturally wary of taking the risk. But what's their choice? Stay here and starve? They can't get very far into the water, though, and end up skittering across the broken ice. All the clumsy thrashing and hopping brings up another danger, a leopard seal. It won't get every chick it tries for, but it knows a good hunting spot when it sees one. Finally, the fledglings take their first flight. Any youngsters that didn't take the plunge are quickly isolated and abandoned. As the South Polar Cyclones get even colder, they'll freeze. As autumn advances, so does the sea ice, at an average of a few miles a day, and penguins are driven north, ahead of its edge. Chin straps, adelis, and most of the other penguins will spend the winter at sea fishing. They cling to icebergs, and generally wait for spring. 